Break down a little bit your journey in the COD scene so far. So when I first started and learned about professional Call of Duty and competitive Call of Duty, I saw a live stream of a Call of Duty 4 event and I saw people playing on a stage. I was like, wow, that's super cool. Like people are just watching this from a live stream at home. People are actually like going to a convention center to uh, play in a tournament. And I was like, wow, this is something I would definitely like to do. So I've always wanted to go pro, starting off by going to some local tournaments in my area, going to uh, MLG events, like the big open events where you could just go with three of your other friends then you just go into the open bracket the pit of death and you just kind of go have some fun and play against other people that are trying to make it as well and just try and get your name out there try and improve when i actually ended up did going pro and i think it was umg philadelphia when i placed top eight kept making a name for myself and doing well and that's when the uh, cwl happened which was the call of duty world league where we would actually be in columbus ohio for a couple weeks at a time then the uh, cdl the franchise league came around where it's like city-based teams it definitely added a lot more structure i would would say to the Call of Duty scene and made a legit career. There's big contracts, there's coaches, there's like longevity in it and it's a lot safer of a career now than it once was before. It was kind of like if you aren't winning you aren't making any money so at least everyone's making a little bit of money now if they're in the Call of Duty League. And it, it kind of validated the being a Call of Duty professional as well too right with Activision getting behind it like that. You were kind of involved in the inaugural season of the COD League. With these cities there's these huge investment groups from the traditional sports worlds. What's that kind of been like and now actually like representing a city. It's actually really cool because I've noticed so a lot of people from Minnesota will just be in my stream supporting me and it was awesome and then when I was on the New York Subliners last year a lot of people that live in the East Coast and support New York teams would be in my stream as well. It actually you do see a lot of people from the area supporting their hometown team and then having these like big investors of sports teams like the owners of the Mets own the Subliners the uh, owners of the Vikings own the Minnesota Rocker and then there's just so many other billionaires and have a, uh, uh, some other like sports franchises or just big companies so it's really cool to see how far it's come and hopefully it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger. Give us kind of your, your thoughts around what went down in uh, on that fence play in Call of Duty Ghost. <laughs> So yeah, the, the infamous attach trying to wall bang a, a fence in Call of Duty Ghost. So the way it went down, we're in a tournament. It was a 2K. There was a guy defusing a bomb. I tried to be all flashy and like shoot through the fence. I shot a trophy system. So like I got a couple hit markers. I was like, oh, like I'm hitting the guy. Oh no, go no, go no, go go. go. Don't risk you that. Can't you can't wall bang it. You can't wall bang it and uh, I wasn't hitting the guy. <laughs> I just started freaking out. After like halfway of shooting my clip, I was like, oh my God. And then it just was all downhill, mental collapse. I became a meme, everyone's roasting me. And now it's probably the worst clutch attempt in Call of Duty history, but life always finds a way to balance itself out because I now have the best clutch in Call of Duty history and the worst clutch in Call of Duty history. Honestly, I'm glad that happened early in my career. It gave me a lot of motivation and fire. The next year I won the world championship and uh, a few other events with that. So it helped me kickstart my career. What motivates you every day? My friends and family, my path already up until this point and how unlikely it would be to be a professional Call of Duty player and being very successful at it. You just never know how long it's gonna last and how long you're gonna have that motivation to fire. So trying to make the most of it while I can. It takes a lot of time, but it's definitely worth it. What do you love most about gaming? What kind of hooked you from the start? When I was younger, I don't know if it was because the games were just better back then. I don't know, we were just playing with our friends, having a lot of fun, but I feel like I could just play Call of Duty or Halo or so, like Gears of War just for such a long time and just have so much fun. But nowadays I would say it's honestly this the competitive drive behind gaming. No matter what the game is, like you just have that feeling where you want to win, you want to be the best. What has been your favorite moment of your career so far? Um, honestly, some of the favorite moments, of course, winning COD Champs is probably always going to be number one. One of my other favorites would have to be winning the season one playoffs in World War II with our phase team. You don't always just clutch up like that, but we just had the ice that weekend. We didn't win a tournament for over like a thousand days. So I felt really good to uh, prove all the haters wrong. Just get another championship under the phase organization. You and your mom, your guys' relationship has is, is been awesome this year. I even know like myself personally, at every event we go to, she's kind of always there supporting you. What's been your favorite moments with her on your COD journey so far? I think her first event she went to, like a major event she went to was X Games. We were playing at the X Games, so that was really cool first off. But then that was just her first event, so it was just really cool for her to like see it in person, meet a lot of people in the community and my teammates and stuff. But yeah, my mom's been there from the start and uh, now her and my dad are like my biggest supporters. They're watching every single match. They want me to play Call of Duty as much as possible. It's It's been great. That's awesome.
All right, Mom. How you doing? I'm great, baby. How are you? I'm great because I'm making a, a fun video with Scuff right now, but my allergies have been kicking my ass all day. What's it been like for you to see me pursue my career in gaming and Call of Duty and uh, then also to be a part of it? It's just been amazing to watch you pursue your passion and your dream and utilize your talents to the fullest because you've always had belief that you were you were gonna make it big in the gaming world and just listening to your firm belief in that you would succeed just made me support you any way I could to watch you achieve your, your goal and reach your dream. What's your uh, favorite event you've been to or like a moment that you've had in person? You got your own little support group and fan base, so how's it been to kind of build that up over the years? It's been fun. I remember the very first time somebody asked me for my autograph was the <laughs> X Games. I think it was the second time, the second time that we went, somebody asked me for my autograph. That was the very first time. Honestly, probably one of the best events that I went to was when we went to Atlanta, Georgia, when, when you had the, Scuff had the, a billboard of you and Seth posted above yeah. the Waffle House. That was such an incredible moment. I think yeah. it all just kind of came together at that time and said, wow, my son really made it to the top. He's on, the, he's on a big billboard with <laughs> Seth, you know, the the king of uh, Call of Duty. Uh, that was that was a pretty incredible moment. Yeah, that was that was crazy. What would your gamer tag be? And you can't say mom attach. Well, you're putting me on the spot here because I never really thought about a gamer tag for myself. But I think <laughs> I would probably. My, I think my gamer tag would be fearless. Honestly, I could see that. I could see that. I think it would be fearless. Ah, uh, that's a cool. That's a cool name. I would do really well when the casters and the crowd was shouting your name out and chanting it. So I think that, that's a good one. I like that one. But yeah, that's that's all I got for now. Okay. Okay. Uh, love, you. love you. Love you. Bye. Okay. Bye, baby. But I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day to my mom, Mom Attached, the one and only who has been supporting me all since I was born and then uh, over this crazy journey and then to all the other moms in the gaming scene Call of Duty wherever it may be thank you for supporting all of uh, all of the gamers all of us it's been amazing to get to know some of you and see you at these events and just create a create a bond between your children and then having the moms have their own little group it's just been awesome to see so I hope you all have an incredible day and uh, I look forward to seeing you all at a, another event soon